Now that your student has their courses added to their account, we are going to learn about how to schedule a lesson for your student. So you can see here that I have already gone to my student's account and I can see their courses down here. So you can always watch a video tutorial if you need to learn a little bit more about how to do this, um, or you can click schedule lesson right here. Now this is kind of cool because it adds the courses that you have and the units and the lessons. So first you're going to select the course that you want to do. So for my student, I would like them to do math. I would like them to start with number sense and I would like them to start with the first lesson. We're gonna click that. Now I would like them to start doing their classes on the Monday that is coming up. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to select the time of day that I would like them to accomplish that. So I'm going to click the time here and then I am going to click save and schedule another lesson. So now I would like to add in some science and now I'm going to select the unit that we would like to do and also the lesson. And again, we're going to do it on Monday and we're going to move it to 12, 15 PM and click save. So now we have two different lessons that have been scheduled. Another way that you can add this to your schedule is by going to the course itself. So you can go to the course and you can click open and you can click schedule course. So now we can also do this by clicking the day that you would like and clicking the days of the week that you would like your student to do this. So for math, I would like my student to do math on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And the interval would be one week or two weeks or three weeks. So I'm going to click two and then we're going to click save. So again, just checking back. I have selected 10, 15 a.m. I have selected that I would like this to start on the 20th and I have selected the days of the week that I would like my student to do it and the interval. So you can always switch this up if you would like to. So now I'm going to click save and then we are going to go back. Here, you probably will not see it immediately because I am not on that week yet. So if you would like to look at your calendar, you can click on these four arrows right here. And then you can go to the week that you have set for your student to start, which for me would be next. And it will automatically show the different lessons here, which is very cool. So you can see all of the different lessons when they have been scheduled for. And then if you would like to add more, you can click schedule a lesson again.